Hello dear students, I hope you are doing well and keeping safe at home. So in this video, we are going to discuss a few topics from the chapter matrices. So that is the first one will be transpose of a matrix. Transpose of a matrix. So what is that? If you consider a matrix A given by Aij with the order m by n. So, a transpose of a matrix is the interchanging of the row and column of this matrix. Clear? So, a transpose of a matrix is denoted by a dash or a t. Okay? So, if I have a matrix A whose order is m by n, then the transposed matrix or the transpose of A will be given by a j i with the order n by m. That means the row and the column has been interchanged. Clear? So for example, I can take let A is equal to 1, 2, 3, 4, minus 5, minus 6, 3, 9. So this is a matrix of order. 2 by 4. So what will be A transpose then? Or A transpose will be 1, 2, 3, 4 and 5, minus 6, 3, 9. So now it is a matrix of order 4 by 2. Clear? So this is how we get the transpose of a matrix. That means this particular row now has been changed to a column and this row has been changed to this column. So this is all about the transpose of a matrix. Now let us see what is symmetric matrix. So symmetric matrix. So what is that? If I have a matrix A is equal to Aij with the order m by n. Then and I have the transpose of A that is equal to Aji n by n. So if I have such a matrix whose transpose is equal to the previous matrix, then such type of matrix are called the symmetric matrices. So for example, let me take, let me consider A is equal to 1, 2, 3, then 2, 3, 5, 6, 6, 9. So we can see in this matrix, if I take the transpose of A, what will be it? This particular row will be changed to column 1, 2, 3. This 1, 2, 3 will become 1, 2, 3 here. This row 2, 5, 6 will become column here. And this row 3, 6, 9 will become column here. So even though I have changed this A, I have taken the transpose of it, but we can see that both the matrices are same. So in this case, I can write A is equal to A transpose. And in such a case, we can say that this matrix A is symmetric. Also, one thing to be noticed is that we can use a symmetric matrix or we can use the symmetry of matrices only in such a case when the matrices are square. That means this must be a square matrix. Here it is a 3 by 3 matrix. Here also it is a 3 by 3 matrix. So we cannot use a matrix whose order is 2 by 3 or 3 by 4 something like that. So next we have skew symmetric matrix. So what is a skew symmetric matrix? Skew symmetric matrix. So, again, here if I take a matrix A, I, J with the order M by N and its transpose will be a matrix of order A, J, I with the order N by M. Then, I can say that A will be a skew symmetric matrix only if A transpose is equal to minus of A. Clear? So only such a case I can say that 
this particular matrix A is a skew symmetric matrix. So for that, let me take an example. Let A is equal to 0, F, G. Then minus F, 0, H and minus G, minus H and 0. So actually this is a one of the typical examples of skew symmetry matrix. So let us take the transpose of this. So what will be a transpose? It will be this row will be changed to column that is 0 F G. This row will be changed to column that will be minus F 0 H and this row will be changed to column again that is minus G minus H 0. Now if I take the negative common here so I can take a negative out of this so we shall have 0 here F G this will be minus F 0 H and this will be minus G minus H and 0 so easily we can see that this matrix is equal to this matrix that means in this example I can write A is equal to so, uh, sorry my A transpose is equal to minus of a so if in such a case or such type of matrices can be said skew symmetric matrix also one thing is to be noticed is that in case of skew symmetric matrix the diagonals are always zero these diagonals are always zero so how let us see a small proof if i have the elements in skew symmetric matrix what happens is that aij changes to minus of ji so if i take if i take j is equal to y so what will be it aii is equal to minus aii that is for i is equal to j so from there what i can write is that twice aii is equal to 0 and from there I can write AII is equal to 0. That means the diagonal elements are always 0 for a skew symmetric matrix. Clear? Okay. Now let us see a few problems from the exercise 3.3. So let us see the first problem given here. That is uh, find the transpose of each of the matrices there is 3.3 question number one here the question is given 5 1 by 2 and minus 1 so we need to find the transpose of this so how to find it so if I take the transpose of this this will be it will change to 5 1 by 2 minus 1 clear that means the row has been changed to column that's it now let us see question number three here a matrix a dash is given that is three four minus one two zero one and b is equal to minus one two one one two three so we need to verify that a plus b dash is equal to a dash plus b dash that means transpose of a plus b is equal to a transpose plus b transpose so let us solve it here the first matrix given is a transpose so what is that 3 4 minus 1 2 0 1 so what will be the transpose is given this so what will be our a a will be This row will be changed to column this will be 3 4 so minus 1 2 0 1 so thus we have our a and when it, our b is given here so what is b it is minus 1 2 1 1 2 3 so what will the b transpose then the b transpose will be this row will be changed to column so it will be minus 1 2 1 and this row will be changed to column so it will be 1 2 3 now we need to find a plus b first so now what will be a plus b 
it will be what is our a it is 3 minus 1 0 4 2 1 plus what is b minus 1 2 1 1 2 3 also notice that for both the cases the number of rows and columns are same that means their orders are same so how to add them just add their corresponding elements so we have 3 minus 1 for the first element then minus 1 plus 2 then 0 plus 1 and then 4 plus 1 2 plus 2 and 1 plus 3 so if I calculate this we shall get 3 minus 1 will be 2 minus 1 plus 2 1 this will be 1 5 4 and 4 so we have got a plus b so what will be a plus b transpose it will be this, the rows will be changed to columns that means it will be 2 1 1 5 4 4 clear okay so we have got our a plus b transpose now what is our a transpose it is 3 4 minus 1 2 0 1 and b transpose is minus 1 1 2 2 and 1 3 so now we need to add them for the second part so this is equal to what is our a dash plus b dash a dash is 3 4 minus 1 2 0 1 plus what is b dash it is minus 1 1 2 2 1 3 clear now how to add them just add their corresponding elements so it will be 3 minus 1 4 plus 1 minus 1 plus 2 2 plus 2 0 plus 1 and 1 plus 3 so this gives us 3 plus uh, 3 minus 1 will be 2 4 plus 1 5 minus 1 plus 2 1 2 plus 2 4 1 and 4 so from here we can see that a plus b dash or a plus b transpose is equal to a transpose plus b transpose so using this example i can write a few properties of transpose there is the first property says that the transpose of a transpose gives me the same element that is a transpose of transpose gives me the same element what is the next property we have if i multiply a scalar with a matrix and take the transpose of that so that is same as the scalar multiplied by the transpose of a so where k is a constant or a scalar and the third property that we have is a plus b transpose is equal to a transpose plus b transpose just now what we have solved actually this was example for this particular property and the fourth property we have is a b transpose is equal to b transpose into a transpose so here this is a critical case here you can see that the order has, has been changed because we know that for a matrix multiplication we have to take care for the specifically for the orders so this is one of the most important property of transpose you can say so now let us proceed to another problem uh, that will be question number so let us solve question number seven question number four five are very easy we need to verify a b transpose equal to b transpose a transpose for question number five which must try that and some of the problems are given in the pdf as well so let us see in question number seven we have a matrix a is equal to 0 1 minus 1 and minus 1 0 1 and 1 minus 1 0 so we need to show that this matrix is q symmetric so how to do at first let us find the transpose of a so what will be it the row and column need to be interchanged so here the row this is the 0 1 minus 1 so i shall write 0 1 minus 1 here then the second row i shall write it as a second column so it will be minus 1 0 1 and the third row will be or third column that will be 1 minus 1 and 0 now if i take a negative common from here 
so it will be 0 here and the minus 1 will be 1 now and this one will be minus 1 now so this one will be minus 1 this will be 0 1 1 minus 1 0 so clearly we can see that the a, the a transpose where we have taken out the negative sign is equal to a you can see just check it 0 1 minus 1 0 1 minus 1 all the elements are same so therefore I can write a transpose is equal to minus of a that means here I can write this is equal to minus of a so hence a is a skew symmetric matrix skew symmetric matrix clear so very easy question you can try question number eight nine now let us see one question from 10 it's a very important one question number 10 roman 1 3 5 1 minus 1 so here you have got a theorem that is every matrix can be expressed as a sum of a symmetric and a skew symmetric matrix so now let us see here let a is equal to 3 5 1 and minus 1 clear now what will be our a transpose so this will be equal to change the row and column so it will be equal to 3 5 1 minus 1 transpose of that and that will be equal to 3 1 5 and minus 1 okay so now how to find a symmetric matrix first add them add a and a dash so that will be equal to 3 5 1 minus 1 plus 3 1 5 minus 1 so if you add them you will get 3 3 6 5 plus 1 6 1 plus 5 6 and minus 1 minus 1 will be minus 2 clear now let's consider a new matrix p and that is half of a plus a dash so i have multiplied a half with this matrix so what will be it it will be half of 6 6 6 and minus 2 so that will be equal to 3 3 3 and minus 1 clear now let us check whether this matrix new matrix p whether it is a symmetric matrix or not okay so we have p is equal to this so what will be our p dash p dash will be this row will become column now that means if this is our p so the transpose of this will be 3 3 row it will become column now 3 3 and the 3 minus 1 was row so now it will be 3 minus 1 as column so we can see that this is equal to p isn't it that is our p dash is equal to p therefore i can write p is a symmetric matrix symmetric matrix clear okay again let me subtract a minus a here i have added now let me subtract so what will be it 3 5 1 minus 1 minus 3 1 5 minus 1 so what will be that equal to 3 minus 3 will be 0 5 minus 1 4 1 minus 5 minus 4 and minus 1 minus minus 1 will be 0 clear okay so let q is equal to half of a minus a dash so I have taken a new, new matrix here multiplying the 1 by 2 with this matrix so what will be it 1 by 2 into 0 4 minus 4 0 so this will be 0 2 as this is acting as a scalar and I need to multiply this all the elements so it will be minus 2 0 clear now 
what is our q dash q dash is equal to 0 2 minus 2 0 dash and that is equal to this is row so it will become column now 0 2 and this was our new row so it will become column now minus 2 0 so now if I take a negative common from here so I shall get 0 2 this will become minus 2 0 and what is that is equal to this is our q itself this is our q itself so I can write minus q so therefore q dash is equal to minus q and what is the definition of this I mean uh, from this definition what do we get we see that q is a skew symmetric matrix skew symmetric matrix clear so therefore what we have done we have got a p that is a symmetric matrix and a q that is a skew symmetric matrix now we had our a isn't it so a this can be written as half of a plus a dash is plus half of a minus a dash isn't it how let me show you here if i multiply half a plus half a dash plus half a minus half a dash uh, here i can see this half of a and half of a this can be added so it will be a now and this half of a dash and half of a dash can cancel each other so clearly this can be written as this and what is this half of a plus a dash this is a symmetric matrix actually actually this is our p p is equal to half of a plus a dash and this is q so we have p is a symmetric matrix and q is a skew symmetric matrix that means we have represented or we have expressed a as a sum of a symmetric matrix and a skew symmetric matrix so that's it and that's the end of our exercise 3.3 and the rest of the many of the problems are given in the pdf and i would recommend you to solve all the possible problems or all the given problems in the exercise and till then stay home and stay safe thank you